Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your crouch and prone positions. Today I'm using Unity 2019, but please be aware this works for both Unity 2019 and 2018 if your avatar has the locomotion fix. The local motion fix is provided to you by Wetcat. Most avatars should, if not all avatars, have this already applied to them. If not, I will leave a link down in the description. This works for all versions, although I suggest using the newest version. It may be slightly different where everything is located, but the steps will still remain the same. The avatar we have as a guinea pig here today is Nuri by Blood Rain. I will also leave that in the description below. So first, we are going to need to find the Locomotion Fix folder to change the animation. Make sure you have an animation already on hand that you want to use, or if you want to remove it, or if you want to edit it, it all depends on you. I will not be showing you how to change the position. I'm only going to show you how to change an animation, meaning that if you have to have a pre-made animation already in place for this to work. So. We're going to look down to Nuri here in your bottom left hand corner and we are going to look for the locomotion layer. Sometimes it will already be visible but for most avatars it might just be in the 3.0 section. Locomotion. I found it. Here we see a bunch of blend trees. Now a blend trees are basically showing what animation we want where, what position the, we have to be in for an animation to be activated. Here are all the VR chat's default animations. Those are simply crouching to a certain degree like, oh, we're walking backwards. This is how the animation is going to look as we walk backwards. It's just our all of our eight animations. It's it's quite complex when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, but since we're only changing the still animation and not the crouching animation, it won't be too difficult. So we're going to go back into locomotion. These are all of our blend trees. We have crouching, crouching FBT, FBT, prone, prone VR. Depending on what you ch like are doing, so if you're changing the crouching position for a VR headset or if you're doing it for desktop, determines which one of these you are going to click. There's a specific thing that I'm going to be doing for desktop that doesn't apply to anything else but desktop, but I do think it's important for desktop users to know. So I'm going to be doing this for desktop. I will let you know when I'm doing this special little step that you can avoid for VR users who are just trying to change their crouching animation when they're in half body. So here is our, let's go to our prone animation. Our prone animation is going to be sitting all the way down. So if you place space yourself down or if you're getting down physically, you will first have two animations. You go down into your crouch animation. That is the second animation after you are standing. And if you continue to go all the way down, you can call it your sit animation, but the proper term for it is going to be your prone animation. This is our prone animation and it will normally pop up here. Let's see if I can find it. Alright, it's not going to let me find it, but sometimes there'll be a little, what's the word, preview here that's going to pop up to let us see it, but it's our prone animation down here. We have all of these animations that we can use, all the ones we want. This is this one right here, the sit pose by Wet Cat Free, is the normal sit pose that you have on almost every avatar. It's the one where they're sitting on their butt and their knees are slightly upwards. It's just a normal sitting position, so... I'm going to be using that to replace our current animation, so we're going to go back to locomotion, we're going to go to our prone, and we're going to click this. This is our little folder with all of our animations in. Now, from here, we're going to choose our sitting pose. I assume that you would have already imported it in. Open your folder, drag and drop into here to get your animation in here, drag and drop, bam. Our animation has already been applied. Now, you can stop there. That's really all you need to do. But for desktop users, I'm going to undo this for the sake of I don't want my animation change. But that would have been it. You successfully changed your animation and that is it. But for desktop users, when it comes to crouch, you might have noticed how you are always able to move your head if you are in a crouch animation. And when you're in your prone animation, you can't move your head at all. Your whole body is just moving. You can't move your head up and down. You can't look up at somebody. Your head's just stuck. I'm going to be teaching you how to fix that. 
So coming in to this locomotion, we're going to have to look for the controllers. Here is our controllers, and our controllers are going to pop up right here. This is the exact little tree that you're going to want to show up. It's showing us it's going to go from reinitializing to standing VR, crouching, prone, like I had told you. And then if we look over here, desktop, you're standing, then you go into crouching, and then you go into prone. It's the animations before you go to prone. Now, we want to move our head. We want to be able to go into our prone animation and move our head, look up at our friends, and not just be a stick. I used to be a master desktop user myself, so finding out this was absolutely helpful to me. We are going to go into our prone, and we're going to go into our inspector. So our inspector right here is showing us the VRC animator tracking control. This is telling us what is remaining in what position. So I'm going to show you something here. If we look at everything here, it is tracking. Since our desktop users don't have hands or legs or anything like that, their animation remains the same. But if they were to have that, they would be able to move them. So that's why when you're in half body and you're sitting down, you're able to move your hands because it's, it's set to tracking. It's tracking your hands. Desktop users don't have any of that. That is why then they go into their prone position. They are unable to move. We can go into crouching and see the head position is in tracking, meaning the one thing we can track, which is our mouse, the head is going to track that. The rest of the stuff, in my opinion, don't really matter for desktop users. I wouldn't necessarily play around with that. That is totally up to you if you do, but I am here to show you how to do the head. So we are going to go into our prone animator, and we are going to switch it from animation to tracking. That is all we are going to do. Now for our prone animations, we should be able to move our head however we want in desktop when we sit prone. Please be wary that when you're doing new things to your project in Unity, for some reason, this tends to reset itself. It'll move back to animation. So before you upload a project, just go back, double check, and make sure that your head is on tracking if that is what you would want. I really hope this helps you, and have a great day.